The orange-headed thrush is an elusive member of the thrush family and can be seen in the well-wooded areas of the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia. Here, we see the male mate feed as female of fruit. Male and female orange-headed thrushes look the same, although only females will incubate eggs and brood nestlings. Females sit on their eggs and nestlings for long periods of time because bird embryos and young are essentially ectothermic, meaning they cannot produce their own body heat and rely on external sources of heat until approximately halfway through the nestling period. This hungry female repeatedly begs for the worms brought by the male for their young nestlings. Because female orange-headed thrushes sit on the nest for so long, they lose opportunities to forage and feed themselves. Males will feed their mates as they sit on the nest in order to allow her to continue incubating or brooding their offspring. However, frequent nest visits can draw unwanted attention to the nest. Orange-headed thrushes face predation pressure from many different species, from tree shrews and ground squirrels, to Bornean green magpies, and even macaques. This short-tailed macaque quickly devours the two eggs laid by a female thrush of Mount Kinabalu Park and dismantles the nest looking for more. We can only hope that this pair of orange-headed thrushes has better luck next time.